Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111. And whereas King Midas had the Midas touch, which turned everything he touched into gold, I have the command block touch, which turns things to command blocks. Or more generally, allows me to do flood fills of different colors of things. And so I can turn this tree's leaves into light blue wool like that. Basically, I made a 3D flood fill utility, and so I can use, I've got two different spawn eggs, one called start flood fill and one called choose fill block. And so I can do start flood fill on top of a block, and it will flood fill the area that has all of that same type of block. And then if I want to turn it to a different type of block, I just choose the type of block uh, that I want to use. So for example, if I want to turn these guys to grass, I can do that, and it will transform them into grass. And so it's just kind of a cute way that you can go and transform different pockets of blocks in the world. And so, for example, if I wanted to get rid of this diorite and these little bits of granite over here and instead turn them all to stone, I could do something like that. Um, there's a pocket of coal over here that's really kind of distracting me from the beautiful smooth stone. Oops, I hit the smooth stone. That's fine, because as you can see, it's going to slow things down a bit. It looks like it's moving pretty slowly, but it's because it's actually going deep down through the stone everywhere inside the blocks. Um, but fortunately, there is a limit. Maximum limit of 1,000 blocks of change has been reached so that things don't go completely crazy and haywire. Uh, and I can change all of these blocks now. I'm just going to change them back to stone. Uh, but I could change them to whatever I want. And so you can kind of flood fill any area that you like uh, with. And basically it just goes and finds all nearby contiguous blocks that are the same type. And then if you want to replace them with something else, you just pick the block you want to replace and use the other spawn egg on that block. And it goes and changes those blocks uh, into that kind. And it does it with entities. I originally, I had a a version that was much more complicated to implement, um, but used kind of fewer entities and ran a bit faster, but I couldn't fit it into one command block. This is a one command block contraption. And so actually, if I go back to, I'm somewhere else in the world, but if I go back over here, you can actually see the contraption running. I'm not going to give out the one command uh, for this one in today's episode, just because they've been doing a bunch of changes to riding and passenger tags in the last couple of snapshots and it seems like it's not all working yet and so i'm fearful that they're going to change things again but basically yeah there's one command block over here with the giant command that you activate and then because of the fact that this is using clones um, there's actually a couple places where you actually have to put in the absolute coordinates of one block which is going to be kind of like the the destination block that it needs to go and clone to all the different places but it's just, you know, like 100 command blocks over here, and it's pretty straightforward and is surprisingly fun to work with, especially when you do it in a big area, like a big canopy of a roofed, roofed forest. And you can just, oops, I hit the air. <laughs> now it's going to find all the nearby air blocks and convert them to something else. Well, if you ever wanted to make a giant tree, you could always do that. And I can convert those to leaves. Um, but yeah, what I was trying to do is actually get on top of the leaf blocks over here and then just convert some of these leaves, let's say, into blue blocks. And you may notice, for example, that this leaf here wasn't converted, despite the fact uh, that it was kind of contiguously next to all the other leaves in the top of this tree. Uh, leaves are really weird in Minecraft. I think they're one of the things that like notch coded like way back in the alpha days in terms of the way that leaf decay works. And yeah, leaves kind of look exactly the same, but have different damage values depending upon whether they've done a leaf decay check recently and they're near wood and so occasionally some of the leaves don't get changed and that's the reason why because they're not actually not identical blocks um and yeah similarly like when you're trying to like change tops of mushrooms and different things uh it's easy to not notice that not all of these mushroom blocks are actually the same blocks like that's one kind of mushroom block that doesn't have anything, well, I just can't see it right now, <laughs> doesn't have things exposed on the corners or on the sides, but then there's like the corner ones here, and yeah, there are a bunch of different types of blocks that may look the same kind of on the face of it. But in any case, uh, Flood Fill, it's pretty fun. Um, you can use it if you wanted to, you know, just like make a beach where this grass area is right now. This is going to go and spread out. It's probably trying to still spread down here. Now it says it's done and can turn this into sand. And since it's grass, it doesn't actually spread kind of downward because the block over here isn't grass, it's dirt. 
And so there's a lot of ways you could imagine trying to make this a little bit more useful to kind of like do what you want rather than exactly what it does, but all of them would make the mechanism a whole lot more complicated. And I wanted to make it something that fits in a command block. Um, yeah, maybe next week, if we get through like a week of snapshots and things seem a little bit more stable in Minecraft, I'll uh, hand out some of the more of these one command block contraptions. I also made the AFK world pre-generator that I made like a year ago. If you want to pre-generate a map, it kind of like teleports you in a spiral pattern all around the world to generate chunks. So you could just go AFK and generate a world so then your world doesn't lag up if you're trying to you know, play a UHC match on a new map or uh, just trying to make things run a little bit smoother when you're trying to start a new world. And so hopefully I'll be sharing all those things out in the next week or so. Uh, but I've been still having fun playing around with Minecraft command blocks and still want to finish off the tutorial series, um, and I've got a few other contraptions that I'm working on, but just wanted to show one off today. I hope, as always, you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more crazy command block stuff. Bye-bye!